our way. We're going to head out to um, Plummerton for a wee kayak mission. Um, is it the 18th of February? On. Well, it's a cracker of a day, so we're going to fish from the Hokianga again, Plummerton Way, and uh, try and get some snapper or whatever else this takes the line. Um, should be nice and flat and calm out there. We'll fish till it's dark again, and hopefully, catch some decent fish. And no small ones, I've always been catching just tiny wee tiddlers, so hopefully, I can catch some decent fish and take it home. Right, we'll see you out there. Not as calm as uh, expected. It's not too bad. We're just heading out to the where that boat is out here. Hopefully, it doesn't get pissed off. I'm trying to go too near them, but it's probably a good, a good bit. Oh, there's a splash there. There's some uh, fish working on the top of the surface of the water. Chasing them probably. Probably chuck that soft plastic over the side. See if you go for that. Oh, I can see something right at the top. Oh, yeah, okay. It's actual fin on the top of the water. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. Check this out again. It's probably the same school of fish. Right here. Under there. Kahawai literally everywhere. I've not really done much of that, so we'll see what happens. Might get something. Who knows? Oh, there they are, over there. <laughs> Right next to the boat. See if we can get one this time. Oh, big Callaway, big ones. That's crazy. Watch this, we'll get one now. Maybe I'll let it oh. go a bit deeper. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Boom, right on. <laughs> it's a kahawai, I'm not sure. Oh, it's big, book schooly kahawai, right there. Big one as well. Bloody hell. Woo! Shit. It's great on these wee small rods. Fighting like mad, now he's seen the boat. Woohoo! Fish all around me here. Massive schooly kahawai. Yeah, man, the thing is, I've not got a net, I just need to play it a wee bit. We're only in a, probably about three metres of water here. <laughs> I can see actually see the ground. I can see the the bottom there. Be lucky if we're in three metres of water. Ooh, Jesus. I'm trying to run again. Ooh, I think we'll just let him run. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I think I've tightened it. I need less of that. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> Come on! What a run! Bloody big car, eh? He's off, there he is. Tying him out a wee bit. Yeah, man, it's 
could end up just snapping off. Is it? Ooh, decent car away that. Is away again? I've actually just bought a smoker, so last week these are meant to be great on the smoker. So I'll chuck it on the smoker and get the bloody thing in. Woo! Here we go. Huge car, boy. Absolutely huge. That's the biggest one I've ever caught, I think. Look at that. Yeehoo! Bloody hell, that's massive. Biggest car I have caught, anyway. Humongous. Ah. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. There's nothing much happening, really. Just going to try this last spot, I think. That'll be us. We've been gutted, but that's the way fishing goes sometimes, eh? Just stuck with the car away. So that's me done for the night. Uh, just want to cap off with that amazing sunset in the background. Look at it. Sunset just behind Man Island. Absolutely beautiful night. It's a pity I only just caught that one car Hawaii. I should have just stayed at that same spot, but that's fishing, eh? Yeah, I'm happy with that car Hawaii anyway. That'll feed us. That'll give us a good feed anyway. Put it in the smoker and see what happens. And I'll, I'll record that as well and see. Let you see how it turns out. But aye, pretty cool night on the water anyway. Sun's just gone down, and I think that'll me just that'll be me just calling it a day. So it's the next again day, just finished work. Well, no long finished work. Never got home till late last night. Uh, never got home till about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, so the, the fish has been in the, the chili bin on ice overnight. And uh, I'm gonna smoke it, so I'm just gonna Just cut it up, cut it right down the middle and just open it up. I'm going to just leave the bones and everything in it. And take the bones out after it's been. After it's been smoked. I've never done this, never done this before, but I'm hoping I can, I'm going to chop the head off. Still going to cook the head because you can get, eat the eyes and stuff. I'm going to have a wee shot. Eating the eyes, knock it. Big bones in here, though. Jesus, save that for later. That'll be all right there, anyway. So I'll give that another wee clean and then I'll put some salt and brown sugar on it as I had a wee look, that's what Mr Google tells you to do seemingly takes out the moisture and then uh, I'm going to rub it with some honey 
and then chuck it in the smoker for half an hour and see how it see what it is. It's been in for about two hours now. I thought it'd be cooked after about half an hour, but um, it just wasn't looking cooked. I'm not sure if it's cooked now. The stuff in that seems to be cooked though. I'm gonna try a wee bit of that. Oof. That is, mm, that is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's the finished article. I'm going to go for the big yak that I Never, I've never ever eaten an eye before of any sort. So I'm going to try and scoop out this new thing. It's a bit congealed, oh. Ah! Sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Good for you, that's the. Taste the smoke. Mm. Mm. Beautiful flesh. Now I can see why people love the canalize so much. Putting the smoker tastes amazing. <laughs> <laughs>